as the mom of a daughter who was raped, she did not want to tell me directly first because she was afraid that it would hurt me since I had been raped as a child. But the interesting thing is that when I heard about it, my mama bear came out. I got a hold of her and said, what do you need us to do? Because it needed to be what she wanted. She needed to feel empowered. She needed to have the upper hand. And she also needed to know that it was not going to hurt me to hear her story. That I would be able to help her through her story. You know, it, it was, of course, difficult to watch your child struggle. But it's also important to allow her the dignity to work through what she needs to work through. I think that's one of the harder things for people who haven't gone through a rape is they want to decide for the person. They want to, you know, I'll just take care of this and we'll just, we'll just wrap this up and then you'll be good as new. And the thing is, is that, no, it, a rape is grief. And it's a loss. And that's something that I've learned from my own experience and was able to help my daughter understand that what you're dealing with here is grief. And I think if the general public understood that about people who experience rape, we're experiencing deep grief. For my daughter, it was someone that she'd grown up with, somebody that she knew, they were friends of our family. It wasn't just one of those things that you can put them into the other category and shake your hands clean about. It was a betrayal on so many levels. The grief was so deep.